So I got a question recently on how to be more consistent. And this video came from my last video about how to help you guys be more creative. And I got a bunch of different questions from you guys. And I'm going to answer one of them in this video here. All right, so this question comes from a friend of mine and he's asking, I think what I have a problem with is being consistent. But part of me thinks it's just there's so much going on and it's difficult to do something when there's so much more out of my control. I believe I'm able to, but would like to hear some tips. Yeah, so it sounds like the three different things that you're having trouble with is the consistency is obviously the most obvious thing. There's things happening in your life and uh, control of things. Like you feel like you don't have control of certain things. So here are the three things that I thought about that how they can help you with this problem, um, what you're trying to deal with and how you could get about uh, maybe a new thought or a new mindset of how you could get around these things. So number one, you need to have a clear vision. You need to have a goal or goals. And honestly, this is the most important thing. You need to know why you're doing it. You have to figure out like why you want to do it, how you're doing it and how it can help benefit others. So maybe you're making silly videos. You got to think how can these videos help someone or if you were maybe um, let's say maybe you're trying to get more into vegan videos how can you help people maybe beginning their vegan journey on like how to start like changing their lifestyle or how to find certain things that they're looking for because it sounds like that type of food is sometimes hard to find especially if you are um, somewhere where they don't have that food. So maybe they have to look online and stuff for that. And think about the why question is like why you're doing this. This is something you have to think about a while. You're gonna have to think about for like really hard, really look into why you wanna do things. Um, and it could change, your why could change slightly or it could change over time, whoever, who knows? Like it depends on you, You got, but you gotta really think about it. So for a while I've been thinking about on this channel like what my why is for making videos and I kind of distil disti distilled it more towards how to help other creatives, how to help other video creators. And I'm still trying to figure out my format, better uh, telling stories, which I'm getting a little bit better at, but I need to practice more to do this better. And how I could serve this creative uh, group of people better and how we can maybe come together and make this a uh, bigger thing than what it is right now. The second one is you're having problems, having this to like be put into your life and how you get things done. And I like to think that this part is uh, there's always gonna be things in life happening but this part is like if you want to get video done or whatever you're trying to do you got to maybe do small small parts of it here or there throughout the day or the week just to get things done so maybe do the pre-production figuring out like what you want it to be about the story the uh, question the answer whatever you want it the video to be about to do that on one day whenever you can and then the next day you know you like start shooting it shoot the video and you do it and then the another day you then edit it and finish it on that day. And even then you could maybe split every little part even smaller or like half of each thing so you could get something done. And also if you do make videos like these type of videos, it's helpful to do um, batch uh, recordings, like a bunch of different videos together, but you do have to have a big amount of time to get like just the shooting part done. So that's that idea, split parts up into small parts throughout your day or throughout your week you can get done. And there's also a video that you should check out. It's in, I'm gonna put it in the description. You can check it out. But it's basically uses sticky notes that you can put together to help you better make big tasks into smaller chunks. The smaller chunks are also very helpful to make it more manageable to finish the task. And that is a great thing because a lot of things are very big and it can be daunting unless you put into smaller parts. So it's very helpful. Now the third and the last one is you gotta focus on what you can control. You gotta understand that there's a lot of things in life we can't control. Maybe the uh, other people around us, how they may react to things or how um, things in society are. But you got to remember that there's things that you can control. You can control the way you react, the way you respond to things, the way that you react to people, how you perceive life and how you think about things in life. And you have to understand that you can control those things. You can control your actions and how to get these things done. And it's very helpful to realize this it's also kind of like a mindset change that you have to think about 
um, how to get these things done. Also what's very helpful with this is you gotta think of what's positively going on in your life, like what is good going on for you and how you can make them more uh, better, more effective. And you have to know like that you can control things in your life. So some of the things that I can control in my life is I can make these videos and I can react to you and how I wanna help you um, guys better with these answers. And hopefully these things are helpful, but this video is a way for me to control one of the things I can do, how to help serve other people, help you and others. There's also another thing in life that the situation you're in right now is not always gonna be this way, especially if you take steps to control the things you can control, working at it to make it uh, more the reality of what you want in the future. So taking those small steps also relates to that uh, smaller chunk thing uh, will help you make it more manageable to get to the place you want. All right, so I hope those tips were helpful. Hopefully I helped answer them. Um, I respond back or comment down below if they are helpful. And if you have other questions on how I could help you be more creative, please send them in the comments down below. And also before you leave, there's actually gonna be a playlist of videos that you guys can check out that will be specifically for this question that you should check it out. It's in the description. And if I can, I'll put it in the uh, card in the corner of the video. So please check that out. I think these words, these wisdoms from other people are very good. It was what I used to research this topic better. So check out that playlist. It's going to be very good. Well, I hope that was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And thank you guys for the you that are subscribed already because it's been helpful for me to answer these questions for you. Without you guys, I wouldn't have uh, answers to give. So I'm thankful that I'm able to, to help you guys. So thank you guys for watching and please have a good day and be safe out there. And don't forget to be creative out there. I'll see you guys. Bye. <laughs> I, hope, I hope this was helpful. All right, I gotta go. I gotta really go. Okay, see you. <laughs> I hate to froze because I had to think about it. <laughs> Did you see that? Did I show that to you? I froze for a second. <laughs> yeah, that's <was> weird. <laughs>